five, four, three, two, one. I knew it! I freaking knew it! Ha! I have proven everyone wrong. The earth is actually a peen! Attention. My videos are not meant to humiliate, nor send attacks at the people included in my videos. Please do not go over to the channels or people's social medias featured in these videos and send hate. These videos are purely satire and should not be taken seriously. If you're someone who's featured in the video and you would not like this to be out there, please contact me via email, Twitter, or Discord, which are all linked down below in the description, and I will take it down for you. Thank you! Hey yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Keed. Welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to be taking a look at a man who is set out to, well, um, prove that the earth is completely flat. He full out goes and, uh, builds a rocket using some, I don't, I don't know, freaking Legos or something. <laughs> but yeah, real quick, just want to remind you guys that links to my Twitter, Instagram, and Discord server are down below in the description. So please be sure to check those out. And yeah, guys, without further ado, let's go to space. <laughs> This is the uh, what's left of a rocket that we were going to jump June 2014. And what happened, it launched by itself. And I thought it actually blew the right side of my face off. So this man actually almost died just because he believes that the earth is flat. What is this guy on? Like, what an absolute idiot. And then he's going to go and do it again? You can't be serious. Okay, I got to get busy. Mike Hughes is a limo driver and self-taught rocket scientist. A self-taught rocket scientist plans on getting in a rocket that he made? Once again, this is a self-taught rocket scientist. I'm sure that all this will most certainly go to plan. And yeah, my man's gonna go to infinity beyond, float around in space for uh, the rest of his life. Do I have people emailing me? Do I have people on Facebook calling me an idiot? Yeah, but I also have people contacting me says, Michael, you may be the guy who can change the world. You know what I mean? You may be the guy. Yes, this man can change the world, guys. He's gonna construct a rocket, go to outer space, and then what? Like, all right, you, you made it to space. Uh, are, you, are you gonna come back now? Are you gonna show us your discoveries? Do you have a way to get back down? Do you, do you have like mission control or something? I'm pretty sure you don't because you're just one guy. So how are you gonna get back to tell everyone that the earth is actually flat? So all, all of this that's uh, behind me, is parts of the rocket that made the world record jump uh, in January 30th of 2014, and uh, it was a ride. I remember, uh, I remember the thing going up the ramp. You know, the strangest thing I remember hearing the air go around the nose cone of the rocket, which I'll never forget. And I went, and I pushed the lever for the parachute, but I didn't feel any deceleration, so I thought I was in real trouble. And yeah, guys, that's what you get when you're a self-taught rocket scientist and you try to launch yourself into the outer spaces. How is this man here right now? Like, how is he still alive? I'm generally surprised he hasn't died yet. Like, how does this man go thousands of feet into the air, have a crash landing, and still survive? This guy is so lucky. He is so fortunate that he's still alive. Like, I actually really don't understand why you would continue to press your luck after you survived a crash landing and go do it again. I took a hit. I took a hit. And yet that doesn't that doesn't dissuade you from, from trying again. Well, you know, I kind of relate this to anybody else that gets injured doing what they do. You know, they just you just keep on doing it, I guess. So you're telling me he survived an insane crash landing from a homemade rocket ship, and he's out here making another one? For, for freaking what? Just to try to prove all of us that the Earth is freaking flat? Like, like go, go make a rocket in Minecraft instead. That, that, that's a lot safer, you know? The thing is, with life, we're given these puzzles, okay? And all these different puzzles has different pieces missing. You're trying to make sense of all these different facts. You start putting this puzzle together with all these missing pieces, and I, I don't care about what they're telling us about from space. You start finding these places that's flat on this planet. Kansas is flat, okay? I'm telling you, I've been there, it's flat. So this guy's logic is, Kansas has flat areas, so obviously the whole entire world is flat. Uh, you can't just uh, go in one direction and end up right back where you left or anything. If you walk far enough, you're gonna fall off the side of the earth, cause like, Kansas is flat and you know, I can just tell the whole earth is flat because of that. So guys, that's the end of uh, the first interview. I also have a video of his launch. So we're gonna check that out real quick. So yeah, let's see how my man's data on his launch. It's blast off for a real life rocket man. Holy 
He did it! I mean, I'll give it to him. He he did, in fact, go up. Like, for being self-taught, that is pretty impressive. I honestly do gotta hand it to him. The self-taught engineer propelled himself 1,875 feet into the sky in his homemade steam-powered rocket. So this man wanted to make it to space. Like, he really risked his whole entire life for this launch. So let's see here. He made it 1,185 feet into the air. And uh, his main goal was making it to the stratosphere. The stratosphere is, um, well, 33,000 feet. Uh, I mean, I, I guess he was close. I mean, he only had another like 31,000 something feet to go. So yeah, I guess you can say that was a pretty good launch. But his descent nearly turned into a disaster. Oh my God, watch out guys, watch out. The rocket is zooming back to Earth at 350 miles an hour. He deploys a parachute to slow down the descent, then another chute. But boom, it's a crash landing. Surprise, surprise! A self-taught rocket scientist had a third crash landing. Not one, not two, three. Every single one of his launches have crashed so far. Really though, what could he really be expecting? Like, how is this man still alive after all this? Someone please tell me. Even so, this rocket man says he's glad he did it. And by the way, the Earth is definitely not flat. Excuse me, Mr. Guy, talking in this video. For your information, my man Mike here went like 5% into space or something like that uh, in, in some flat desert. And guess what? He discovered the Earth was flat. So I guess you guys can say I'm team flat earther now. So yeah, guys, that was my man Mike. He launched himself to space, proved the Earth is flat, and now NASA is rolling in their graves. Uh, they can't believe that they've finally been exposed, that all the space pictures are fake and everything like that. But yes, thanks so much for watching all the way to the end you guys are the real g's for that don't forget to leave a big fat thumbs up subscribe to the channel and ring that bell and yeah guys until tomorrow peace out